on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between our visitors and our home team. Here's the former Cornhusker, Brett Moore, to get this one started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the ground, this is Leonard Fournette. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now Burrow. Being chased out left. Burrow on his toes that time as they get the first down. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Now it's Burrow. There goes a deep ball in zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. Odell Beckham, 58 yards. And his guys have taken a first corner lead. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions and, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half, sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to, and if you're in four-down territory, that really opens things up for you. They'll try and sneak it here. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. Here 
Here's a carry for the fullback. This is Andy Janovich. They yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Now a second down and six. Gonna give this time to the tailback. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This is Janovich. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run it again with Janovich. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Yeah, Tyron Matthew there to make the tackle. And there's the pickup you want on first down. All offenses say, you get me four on first down, we'll take it. How about if you get five? They'll really be happy. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Third down. It's green. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. They're going to try and throw. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? A 
They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. He had to fight that time. Ran through one tackle, but ultimately he's only going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Play fake. Frazier. He finds Rivera. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now well, here's the call on the tackle, Tyron Matthew. To throw on second down. Frazier. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Big hold to the 30. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? Point after, right down the middle. And it's now 14 to nothing. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in the second half. Well, this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. On first and 10, Frazier. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Second and ten. To throw again. Frazier. Throw left side complete. That's Powers. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. It's a quarterback sneak. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. There may have been a little bit of an element of surprise there. Third and inches, and they go quarterback sneak. I still feel like this is a play that often is reserved for fourth down. On first down, 
It's green. And yeah, not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Looking to throw on second down. Frazier. Green brings it in. Down the numbers. There he goes. Touchdown. A great play there. 74 yards. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard and you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point by Marr. Up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Second and 10 now, Burrow. Eluding the pressure right. Going deep here for Landry. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Jarvis Landry, the intended receiver, but now it's third down. Burrow looking to pass. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off at the 11, and he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. We constantly talk about defenders having great vision and being able to see plays unfold and make their own plays, but you also have to have good feel as well because you can't see everything out there. See the play unfold, feel what's going on, and then get to the right spot and make your own play. And in this case, it turned out to be a highlight one. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. He was looking to get it to Jarvis Landry that time. And now it's second down. Play action. It's Burrow. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. They go play action with Burrow. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. Randy Gregory drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and law. Oh, 
he didn't spike it. He faked it. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And now, goodness, possession's going to go over right at the 10-yard line. I don't know why you would do that. It's almost guaranteed points the other way. I mean, I get it if it's a late-game situation, maybe even fourth and inches. But, boy, that's a huge risk to take. Yeah, now they're set up in prime position going the other way. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Coming up on a second and six. Now a handoff to the fullback, Janovich. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Looking to throw. Frazier, he's got a man. It's his fullback. Touchdown, Andy Janovich, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And his guys have taken the lead. The offense going to stay on the field as they will line up and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing in that situation. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. To throw once more on second and 10. Burrow. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Burrow on play action. Go oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Now that's a dangerous throw right there, moving off to his right, throwing it all the way back across field to his left. I know he had a lot of confidence in his arm, but sometimes the ball can just hang up there when it goes that distance. He was fortunate it was just incomplete. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. A give to the fullback on the dive. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down.
to throw. Frazier. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They get ten more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down. It will. They'll keep it on the ground. Green. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up second and goal at the six-yard line. Six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Looking to throw, Frazier, and he fires one, but incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one to me. You take the field goal, take the point. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. Marr able to put this one through, and the drive will wind up yielding three. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run. That's caught at the 25. And all the way in for the touchdown. Odell Beckham, 85 yards. And his guy's now just a two-point conversion away from tying us up. But they certainly aren't afraid to dial up the long ball, and fans dig the long ball. And they absolutely needed it, and guess what? They got it. How about that? And now a two-point conversion away from tying this game up. And it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board, but job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And they'll be backed up a bit to start as he's out of bounds at the 16. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Back to throw, Frazier. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Those INTs all sting, but you throw one in the red zone. I think especially as a rookie, maybe it stings a little bit more. I think what you're saying is they don't all count the same, do they? Right? Interceptions in the red zone that you've given up points now, those are precious. So you have to learn from those and in a hurry. 107 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Now a handoff here to his running back. They find some open field here. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game, because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition, let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Looking to throw. Frazier looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Green. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make it second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Back to throw again. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Good, sure, hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he's able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. 
And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On third and two, Frazier. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. They'll run on first down. It's Green. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 43 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. It's green. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. To throw on second down, Frazier. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it third and one. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Third and one, trying to keep this drive in overtime going. A big one coming up. And to give this time to the tailback. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. The kick by Maher is good. So they do get the short field goal here to get them the all-important overtime lead. But, Charles, you wonder if they'll wind up ruining the fact that they were able to get down into the red zone, yet not able to find the touchdown that would have won them the game. Brandon, you're absolutely right. In overtime, when you get the ball first, the hope is your opponents never see the football. But now they're going to get a drive to try and win it, or at least keep the game alive with a field goal. And I'm getting a dictionary out to look up ruin. <laughs> And he'll give it here to his running back. Big hold to the 30. Finally taken down at the 32-yard line. Two now. Here's first and ten. And with the play clock winding down, we're going to get a timeout. That's their second and last timeout here in the overtime session. We'll be back. Here we go. Big 13. Big 13. 12. 12. Now time to see what Burrow can do here at OT. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And this one is incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Watch the curve. Watch the curve. 
to throw on second and ten. Burrow, he'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh, it's intercepted. That'll seal it. Picked off down near the five. And that's how this one ends in dramatic fashion in overtime with the interception.